Here's a great example if you're kind of struggling with the idea of having your first virtual assistant and being kind of unsettled about well, you know, gosh, like I'm, I'm not sure exactly what they're going to do or they're not going to understand or how am I going to know if, you know, they know this and they know that or, you know, all those kind of thoughts that come into play when you're not used to that. And a great thing to compare that experience to would be if you have ever purchased something online from a store to go do a pickup at the store. Right. For instance, that's something that I was doing a lot with a, a handy person service that I offered and it became very easy to just go on the website, pick out all the items, pay for it, and then go there and have it all ready to go. Well, what that also meant was I was going to be end up being less and less familiar with exactly where in the store these different items are located. But I kind of realized that's not an important thing for me to know. And that's a great example of kind of how you have to look at it with work, working with a virtual assistant or having a virtual assistant. There may be some things where you're like, well, well man, if I have them do it, then I'm not fully going to understand what's going on. But there are some aspects of things where it's not important for you to understand the specifics of how something is going on as long as it's getting done. As long as you know what is needed from it for it to be done and what purpose it serves and why you need it, right? I thought about this because I just got done picking up some fixatives for some art that I'm working on and I'm buying a bunch of different varnishes and fixatives that are used to lock in your finished product, like the finished paint, whatever products you're using, so it kind of preserves it. And so, you know, whether that's getting it on Amazon or doing a pickup at Michael's, I have no idea in Michael's where these spray cans are located but it's totally unnecessary and unimportant for, for me to know that. You know, what's important is that I'm going to end up creating the artwork and then sell it to someone and someone's going to enjoy it and then hang it up, right? So you have to look at it that way. So in case you've ever felt like you've had reservations about starting out with a virtual assistant, I would say as soon as you can, start doing it. And even if you're not quite ready yet, Start thinking of things that you can hire a virtual assistant for and start to see what it's like and start to work with different people. And it's also a great way to kind of test the waters and experiment with different people to see if you can find a good re working relationship with someone. And it'll just make the whole process a lot easier to get into it on a more full-time basis with someone or at least a more part-time regular basis. And you'll 100% be glad you did because anyone that's experiencing a lot of success and having like all these wonderful experiences, vacation experiences that you're seeing on Instagram and living the good life and all that stuff, right? It's because they have other people that they're paying to help with the different things that they do so that they have that free time. So anyway, hope that helped in some way. As someone that earns a living using their creativity, this is something that has helped me. And if you want to hear from the same creatives and artists I look to for advice and answers, you should check out a site called showmewhotofollow.com. In addition to showing you how to make money as a creative person, it provides a way for you to learn from other creatives and artists who've already accomplished what you're currently struggling to figure out on your own. To try it out for free, just go to showmewhotofollow.com. The link will also be available in the description.